So, we're trapped in a room, an autopsy room, which should be setting off alarms right away. And there are four bodies on the ground. Now these could be completely dead bodies, or they could be zombie bodies. Well, in the first game, when we went to the morgue, which I don't know why a lab would have a morgue, but it did, um, there were no zombies at all. They were just regular dead people. Looks like this first guy is just a regular dead folk. I can't... I'm gonna say the second guy is as well. Because I'm walking on through him. I don't like the look of this third guy, though. And I think there's a fourth guy. Right here. Oh no, that's something in the foreground. Well, before we figure out if there is anything else over there, let's check out what's on... Okay, there was nothing on that table. Anything on the bodies? Well, I mean, they're in the autopsy room, so I'm guessing no. Ah. Now that guy. Oh, there's a body right there. Come on, one of these guys gotta be alive. It's not hit, it's either not hitting him or he's not alive. I think this guy's dead. Ah, he's dead. Good. And what about this guy on the table? Well, I can't really check cuz I'm stabbing the table, not the guy. I'm going to guess he's dead too. So the one place without any zombies is the one place with dead bodies. Where dead bodies are supposed to be. The autopsy room. Ah, ain't these games a stinker? I love that expression. Ain't it a <laughs> Okay. I'm thoroughly freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. And it's gonna be funny, unless that's not the only guy. If it turns out there's more guys, then it stops being funny. But if that's the only guy, that was hilarious. Nope, 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 nope. That's, okay, this is terrible. Get off, get off! I didn't realize you were on my feet. No! Die, damn it. Oh no, he's on my leg. He's on my leg. Die. Oh. Okay, how are we? Caution. Okay. I'm not gonna throw caution to the wind like that again. <laughs> Let's look in the one where the thing fell off. Nothing. Good. Is there anything else in here? Maybe bandages? Though it is an autopsy room, what would be the need for bandages? Anything else? No. At least the one guy that was out on the open that I thought was going to be the zombie. Like, he was just going to sit up and be like, Ugh. At least he was actually dead. Oh boy. Well. We got a key card. Let's hope that goes to this room right here, which somehow I unlocked. I still don't understand how I did that. Hey, it did. Cool. So what is this room, anyway? I'm afraid I didn't really catch the sign. Oh, is this the armory? It looks like it might be. Hmm. Very nice. At least it isn't, it isn't flooded like the original the army in the original game. I would have to be a bit pissed if it were. Alright, let's see what we've got. A machine gun and a side pack. With a side pack, I can carry more items! I'm equipping a side pack. Yeah.
See how many we have. Oh my god. Eight <laughs> items. Yeah, I'm... Hmm. Machine gun or... The side pack. I'm gonna take the side pack. Machine gun, I should probably save it for Claire. Wait, I can take both of them. Yeah, I will take the submachine gun. I thought I could only take one of them, that's why I was confused. Um... It also has a percentage, so is that just... You can use it until it's used up? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Oh, look at all this storage space, though. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong weapon I was equipping that with. Um, I'm gonna throw the submachine gun into a, into a, what you call it, into a bin, just so anybody can use it. Um, because I'm assuming Claire can use the bin as well. Assuming they wouldn't be that mean to just be like, oh, nope, can't use the bin, because you're not Leon. But then again, I'm assuming that's probably not a good thing to do. Ah, oh, okay. Whew, okay. We're back on our feet again. Where are we? So that is... The officer's room right below where we are right now. Uh, do we have any save areas? Because I feel like this is time when I should save. But we don't. Um, probably should, though. Just because... Ooh. Ooh. Activated since the cord is cut. I don't want to run down this way without that shutter being shut. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk this door. Because you know what? Maybe there'll be a save. Paper more than a week old. Well, there's silence, which I don't like. You all have heard an earful about that. Lockers. Nothing in this locker. More of those lewd posters that, well, kind of expecting at this point. I mean, it is a police precinct, and the only women that we know of that, well, are at the police precinct are Rebecca and Jill, so. Ah, what's this? More ink ribbons. I will take that ink ribbon. So I'm, that means there must be a save somewhere around here, maybe. Maybe? Hopefully? Hope it's right around this corner? It's a dead guy. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Watchman's Diary. I thought... What? I had to do that voice again. I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than that I was neglecting my duties. Why access to the tower was prohibited in the first why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place anyway? I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He is a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key 
and lock engraved with chess pieces on them for one of those in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease or is he just rude? September 9th. Thomas was much better player than I had imagined. I used to think myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagined that could match his skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. But he insisted he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. Well, you know what, that started out shaky, but I got a good one by the end of it. Looks like we found a cult, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. Unfortunate. But what can we do? Keep expecting because there's a mirror. I'm expecting something to, like, show up behind me. Is that a mirror? It looks like a mirror. I'm expecting something to show up behind me as soon as I take that gun. But I didn't take that gun. Because I don't have a room. <laughs> so joke's on you, game. <laughs> it's going to be terrible coming back here to get that gun. Well, no. Because it looks like it's the Colt. Which is, you know, the Resident Evil super weapon. Well, second super weapon. Aside from the rocket launcher. Run, 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 run. Oh boy. In and out without a scratch. Well, out without a scratch. <laughs> it wasn't quite in and out without a scratch. Okay, for a second I thought I forgot where we were. <sighs> Expecting all these guards that we've passed already to just start getting up and attacking us. Oh, I don't like the sound, the foreboding sound of the... Just the hum of the room don't like it I'm on edge once again even though I know that this area is probably safe but 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 the area with the dogs turned into the area with the liquors so I don't know anything of the kind I don't know what, that a single part of this precinct is safe and I will not assume that a single part of it is However, I will save. Oh, will I save. Wrong area, Chris. You gotta save right here. Yeah. Oh, yes, I will. There is no way that I'm letting that go to waste. I mean, come on. We killed two lickers. We got past a giant spider. Ada did her thing again. That seems like a decent amount of time to have passed to save. And I'm still saving on the old Resident Evil 1 system of, well, wait a long ass time until you save, because you might run out. Oh, and at least I know this room is safe because it's got the storage chest in it. One of the few things I can be sure about. All right, so let's drop off the ink ribbon. Let's drop off. Some machine gun. Actually, let's pick up the ink ribbon so we can put it with other ink ribbon. And let's drop off the ink ribbon again. <laughs> oh, jeez. We've got so many item spaces. I don't know how, like... Unless on easy, you just get an amazing amount of ammo. <laughs> I guess for the... Not the extra mode. The um, access mode or whatever it was called. You just get a ridiculous amount of items then as well. 
I don't know. Let's look at the map. So we need to see where we're going. We've got one on the right there. And that looks about it for the club key, actually. Herm. Herm de herm de herm. Sorry, just thinking to myself a little. We should really go check on Claire, though. I'm feeling that that might be a good idea. We haven't seen her in a while. And again, I really do feel bad about leaving her. Even if she is just a video game character. Um... Ah, oh, there's the small key. Because I know that we're going to pass a small key... Uh, what you call it. I know we're going to pass a uh, locked desk on our way, so... Figure might as well, you know, open it. See what's inside. Hooey. Ready? I'm not. Now I'm expecting that we're just gonna, like, run across liquors all the time. Oh! Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Do I run? Or do I face him? Ooh, I don't think I have enough. Ooh, I don't think I have enough ammo to really face him. I'm running. No, no, Leon! I did not tell you to turn like that. Jeez, kids these days just thinking they can turn on a whim like that. Oh no. Oh boy. I'm glad I decided not to go that way. Because those areas are probably, well, a death trap now. I'm just wondering if that means that all the areas are going to be repopulated with zombies. Aha! That's what I was looking for. Yes, I will use the small key. And what do we get for our troubles? What is that? The handgun parts? I will? What are these? They look like parts for a gun. Yes, they are. Let's... What the heck? What? The heck? C handgun. What the heck? Well, that's interesting. I wonder what it looks like. Oh, it's a pistol with a rifle stock on it. Interesting, to say the least. I wasn't expecting that. we can do with this door? I'm guessing no. Yeah, still nailed shut. Oh, did I check these? Yeah, I did. Alright, and Claire should be like right... Ooh, let's grab a tasty beverage. <laughs> I wish. Claire should be like right around the corner once we go in here. I'm hoping. Ugh. It's the silence. It's just that every, every room has the... Well, most every room. Has... Some sort of creepy music with it. Some sort of ominous tone. That accompanies it. Okay, Claire's not here. It seems. Yeah, she's not here. She has skedaddled. That's good. Actually, I'm glad she has. Did we get the uh, first aid from Rebecca's 
Uh, I'm guessing we did. Oh well. <laughs> I could have hoped. Oh wait. I never opened this. No, I won't take the shotgun because I've already got one. Oh wait, yes, I will take a shotgun because I can put that in the uh, the case, and that'll that'll help out um, whoever needs it. Is there anything else in there? No. Okay. Um, I, I completely forgot to take that again. Um, no, it's just that every like you heard it in that room, every one of these rooms has some sort of ominous tone with it, and then these couple of rooms that don't. But they don't have any other sound, like the stepping of zombies or anything. Then when you're walking around, you hear the sound of you walking on something, and it freaks you out because it's so different. Um... Just checking if we need anything. Oh, wait, there is a, there is a case down there that we can put it. Oh yes, there's also the blocked door up here. Maybe that's changed. Also really hesitant to go anywhere. Because I don't know where liquors have started popping up. Still will not budge. Hmm. Sorry, just checking the time. I think I'm going to have to let you guys go. Um, I'm going to go down to the room. Hopefully there's no zombies or liquors down there. Although we're going back to the first floor, so there very very well may be. Oh good, we're, we're good. It seems. As long as we don't go through that... Is it the next door? Yeah, as long as we don't go through that next door, we should be fine. Wondering if it's just as bad on the other side as well. I'm guessing it is, but we'll see. We'll see. Can we unlock these now? No. Too bad. Alright, well. Let's toss off that shotgun. And I will see you guys next time. On Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Blind with me, OX Foo. Take it easy. <laughs>